Now remember, strings are immutable. We cannot modify them. In contrast, lists are the first type of data that we have seen that are mutable. So let me show you a quick example. I have this date object which I have created using the split method. So date at this point is a list. I print out the ID of that date object. The reason I'm printing the ID out is I'm going to modify, I'm going to mutate this list and later I'm going to show you that its ID does not change, meaning the object remains the same but the internal contents do get modified. We will see this in the REPL but we will understand this even better using Python Tutor. Now we will also print out the ID of date 0. Remember date 0 is just the substring 27. That happens to have this ID. Now let's do the following code. Let's change date 0 to the string 28. So the date list now looks like 28 0 to 2025. Notice that the date object has modified, it has mutated but the object itself has the same ID as before. This number is exactly the same as this number. However, the object at index 0 in the list has changed. Earlier its ID used to end with 064, now its ID ends with 208. So in the REPL, this is a little bit hard to see. It's easier to see this on Python Tutor. Let's go there and see what this looks like. The link I have shared uses the default visualization. We will first try that out and realize that it's actually very hard to understand what's going on. But if we switch to the non-default visualization, it will be much easier. So let's run this Python Tutor code with the default visualization. First, we initialize date to this string object. Remember, in the default visualization, we don't have too many arrows. Now we take this string object and split it by the forward slash. So when we click on next, now date refers to this list object. In this list object, at index 0, we have the string 27. At index 1, we have the string 0, 2. And at index 2, we have the string 2025. Now let's say we set day equal to date of 0. So when we click on next, day will be 27. This looks like we have copied this string over here, but remember that is not what's actually going on. So let me pause this visualization. Let me click on edit this code and switch to a more helpful visualization, which is our non-default visualization. And let's re-visualize re the same code. So date is now referring to this string object. Fine. Now split it. When we click on next, we get this rather exploded view. So date is referring to this list object. At its zeroth index is this variable which is referring to the string 27. At its index 1, we have a variable referring to the string 0, 2. And at index 2, we have a variable referring to the string 2025. This view is more accurate. Now let's see what happens when we set day equal to date of 0. Well, date of 0 is this variable. It's referring to this string object. So what does it mean to set day equal to date of 0? Well, we have to evaluate the right-hand side. The right-hand side evaluates to the string 27. So the meaning of day equals date of 0 is simply to create a variable day and have it label this particular object. So this particular object has two labels on it. Now we say date of 0 is equal to 28. What does that mean? Well, date of 0 is this variable. We want to assign it to a different object, the string 28. Remember, this object, this string 27, is immutable. So when we assign this to 28, this is what happens. That string 27 remains assigned to the day 
variable, but date square bracket zero is reassigned to this fresh object. This is a very simple example, but it's very important that you understand this carefully. Please do try this visualization yourself. Feel free to edit the code and change some of these values and you should be able to predict what is happening. When we say a list is mutable, we mean that these elements, which are variables, can be reassigned to other objects. Date itself is not being reassigned. It is always referring to the same list object, which is why in the lecture, the ID of date did not change. So take a look at the lecture, try it in the REPL, but also try it on Python Tutor to make sure you have understood this subtle point.